G'day, just a quick video on an automatic transmission service. We've got a VE Commodore 6 cylinder V6 2010 model and it's got the 6 speed 6L50 transmission in it. Now, good idea to just check for any oil leaks before you start any work. Check your tail shaft, rear diff, just under under the vehicle everywhere. Now these ones, you drain the oil out here, you won't get all the oil out. You'll have that much left in there. And to fill it, you've got a fill plug here on the driver's side or the right hand side of the transmission. There's a little uh, cap that you need to unlock or push up and then you'll just be able to slide that little filler plug out. We'll just start off with cleaning around where the pan gasket is or the pan seal is. So to get the little fill plug out you need to get a screwdriver under here, pop that little locking pin out and then you can pull the whole plug out. When you put it back, push it back in and just push the lock back in there. The pan's off and the filter's just a push in type. Just be aware that you, you might get a surge of oil coming out there if you... Just check this, there's a little sleeve there, plastic sleeve, the case connector sleeve. They do leak, so just make sure you check that one as well. The way to get that out, you actually press this little clip here, pull out the little fork, that little plug, you just ratchet it up, it'll, it'll slide out itself, and then you can work that sleeve out. Just make sure you clean it all the way around before you take it off. A little bit of muck on the magnet there. That's why it's important to not just do an oil change on any transmission. You've got to take the pan off, clean that magnet or that muck. Once it covers that magnet, it won't work anymore and then that'll get attracted to your solenoids and your sensors and cause premature issues with your transmission. Here we've got the little oil level tube on the pan and the idea is to get the transmission fluid up to between 30 and 50 degrees Celsius and it should be just trickling out of that tube. Pan's all nice and clean. As per usual we like to leave the magnet up up on the ridge if we can just to get it working top and bottom. More surface area working the cleaner you'll keep your transmission. The pan seals are reusable on these but because it's been on there for a while Sometimes these little ridges can flatten out and cause leaking issues down the track. We're going to replace this one. A little seal that goes into the pump there. If they are difficult to remove and be careful that you don't damage, damage anything when you're getting it out. There is a special tool that goes in there and you just slide hammer it out. But if there's enough tension and pliability in the rubber there, it's okay to just replace the filter. Make sure you, when you're pushing the filter up, it goes all the way in. Okay, pan's back on. What we're going to do, we're going to put in six litres in through the little plug hole there. Then start it up, keep the motor running and check the oil level. Between, it actually says it on this one, between 30 and 50 degrees, it should be just trickling out of there. Just on the Tritec Lubricants website, and you can see we can use their LV, full synthetic fluid, and there is a bulletin or a note there, 1335, which basically says that if it's out of warranty, you can use their multi-trans full synthetic fluid in it as well. Uh, 
that's about six and a half litres went into that. Just needs to warm up a little bit more. There we go, 31, 32. And now you just want to undo this. And it should be just trickling out. It needs a little bit more. There we go. Don't forget to tighten that up. Put the plug back in up here. Job's done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Throw me a beer if any of this has helped in any way. Much appreciated. Keeps us motivated. Thank you for watching.